How you doing, Duff here? And uh, I'm here with Elsa and Sadie and my new Ninebot One S1, which just arrived today. Um, this was one of the uh, wheels that uh, was available on Amazon for $2.99. Uh, last time I checked, they were out of stock. I don't know if they're going to be getting more stock or not, but um, that was just too good of a deal for me to, to pass up. So my nine bot one is here. I bypassed the the box opening. You know, we unwrap it, pull it out of the box, because to be honest with you, that never does a whole lot for me. So I bypassed all that. And um, I have the wheel out, and I actually had Cindy, this arrived during the day today, I had Cindy throw it on the charger so the wheel is fully charged. So, um, and I also did some other steps because I have limited sunlight, so I wanted to make sure that I uh, get outside to ride it a little bit uh, before it gets dark. Because one of the drawbacks of the S1 is it does not have a headlight. So, um, it was fully charged when I got home, by the time uh, I got home. I turned it on, and the first thing I noticed was a lot of beeping. It would just be going beep, 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 beep. And um, based on what I've, I've seen afterwards, I believe that's because it will do that until you activate the wheel. So prior to activating it though, I fired up the app on my phone. Fired up the app on my phone that I've noticed, I haven't used the Ninebot app in a long time. I noticed that they've refreshed it. Uh, they've updated the way it looks and some of the features. But um, it's, all, it's all the S1, I connected to it via Bluetooth. And of course, the first thing I wanted to do was update the firmware Bluetooth module, uh, a couple other things. So there was about a uh, five minute update phase where it updated everything to the latest and greatest versions. And uh, then it wanted me to activate. And um, I just had to put in my name and email address. And once I did that, the, uh, the consistent beeping stopped. So um, you're gonna wanna activate this thing because that beeping will drive you crazy. It's loud. And it never uh, stops at all. So I did that. So as you can tell, we got a full battery here. And uh, I'm going to put some air in the tire. Tire feels a little bit low. Maybe put it up to 35 PSI and then take it outside. Because until you uh, ride, I think, a kilometer, it really locks the speed down to something like 6 miles an hour. Excuse me, 6 miles an hour. And, uh, oh, one other thing in the app. Once you activate it, you have to go through those um, those learning screens where it has like um, half a dozen different slides, safety slides, like like uh, beginner information for beginner riders. And then uh, there's one more step where you have to simulate that you have one, one foot on the wheel and push the wheel back and forth for five meters. And then after that, you're you're done and you're at the point where you have to get the, the one kil kilometer ride out of the way. So I want to at least get that done and see how it feels. Oh, I should just cover also as far as what came in the box. You have your instruction manual. You have your charger here that looks very similar to the charger that goes with the Mini Pros. You know, it's this uh, small DIN style connector. It's not the big four, four pin uh, connector that you'll see in like a 67 volt wheels like the Gotway and stuff. And it also comes with a extension for uh, filling the the inner tube, the tire, and uh, this is a pretty long one. This might be the longest one I've seen. It's interesting that the um, the fill valve does not have a cap on the actual tire itself. All right, so but that was easy to put on. So let me go get my pump. Okay, we are outside. Turn this on. S1 is a 14 inch wheel. Let's see it has nice um, fully covered rubber pedals, an upgrade from the uh, Mindbot 1 E Plus that I had, which was really my first wheel to run on. Let's see how this feels. Now with the uh, E Plus, there was like three settings as far as the pedal feel, you know, like, I don't remember what it called them, but, you know, firm, soft, and sport, or whatever, I don't know. So I didn't touch any of the fault settings in the app, so I need to kind of see what we're at here. It's fine. You have to ride it for a kilometer. 
to unlock the uh, full speed. You have to ride it for a kilometer to unlock the full speed, like the other nine bot wheels. Okay, it says on here on the app that the speed limit is currently 7.5 miles an hour. So we need to get that 1K of distance covered. Wow, I just, uh, just tried to accelerate a little bit as I went out in the road and it kicked me back aggressively. You know, with uh, riding my Gotway wheels, um, tilt back is something that uh, I just don't experience anymore. And uh, that was a uh, pretty severe reminder of it. Fun. There you go. Hear the kick back here and the tilt back. Seven point five miles an hour just is not very fast. Pedals feel okay. Um, they're almost a little bit too grip, too grippy. Like I was trying to um, kind of adjust my feet as I rode around. Hi, Shadow. And um, the pedals were ugh, so grippy I couldn't really do it very well. Eh, I can do it, but uh, just not the easiest thing. Uh, because it's a 14-inch wheel, you know, it feels nimble. I can you know, turn quickly. Tight turns, not quite as tight as the M10, but pretty darn close. I'm just looking at the settings here. Under riding settings, there's no, looks like there's no more um, ride firmness adjustment with the S1. Just max speed and limit mode and calibrate the attitude sensor. That is it. And to be honest with you, the pedals feel okay, so it's not like it's a big deal. It doesn't, I remember with the uh, E Plus, like if you had it on the soft setting, it felt like you were riding on a set of springs. Uh, but this, this feels, this feels good. It feels like the Gotway wheels, I would say, as far as firmness goes. Okay, I've gone a total of a half mile. I think uh, 1K is somewhere around 0.6 miles, so I should hopefully be hitting the unlock speed soon. One nice thing, since uh, the Segway brand is a fully UL certified American product, their app is fully uh, capable of reading in Imperial units, so everything is uh, nice and easy for us Americans to uh, deal with. Even the temperature is in Fahrenheit instead of Celsius, so all the information you need is right there. And, uh, from, just from what I was looking at here, it looks like, um, okay, the, I think it might have just unlocked, but it says it said in the app that you need to. Uh, turn. Oh, why is it tipping back so hard? Holy cow! All right, I'm gonna turn it off, and turn it back on. Okay, so the reason that what happened was it unlocked. I hit the the 1k distance, but I must have inadvertently had the speed limiter turned on because you can even though the wheel is unlocked, you can still have it speed limited, and the default speed limit. Uh, was 4.3 miles an hour, so yeah, it, it was a little bit crazy there. So I just cycled the wheel and turned the speed limiter off. So now let's see how it feels, being able to go the production amount of space or the production posted speed limit. was 11 and a half and no beep no tilt back because so, someone told me that um, they got the s1 they, or they read somewhere that even though it's posted at 12.5 it was like tilting them back at 10 which didn't make sense and didn't make me very happy but um, it did not tilt me back there oh, there's my first my first little scrape all right so I want to see where tilt back actually does happen Yes, I realize the camera work here is not stellar. Sorry about that. All right, 10, 11. Let's go out on the road. Yep, okay, there you go. Started tipping back at 12.5 as advertised, so that's okay. 
So it's good to know that it does not cut you off earlier than uh, expected. Couple of the nice features of the S1, it has the cool lights that are you know similar to what the 9 bot um, that one E plus has, or actually all the first generation 9 bot one wheels look nice. Uh, they are configurable. Another nice thing is this actually has an interlock on the handle, so you, if you pull it, it actually disengages the wheel. Uh, the majority of EUCs that you'll find when you lift them up off the ground like this, the wheel is going to accelerate greatly. And uh, if, depending if you're ready for it or not, it could uh, pose a hazard for sure. So this one eliminates that. The InMotion V5F has that feature as well, which is nice. Um, charge ports on the back right here. Hopefully you can see this stuff on the camera. But um, yeah, that, that's that's my my quick little first impressions. It feels good. It feels solid. You know, 12 and a half miles an hour is not um, a speed demon, but it, it's. Be a great little commuter vehicle. I mean, it's, it's light. Uh, this, uh, yeah, this probably feels lighter than the uh, M103. I'll have to weigh in to make sure, but it, it does not feel heavy at all. And um, power wise, it, it feels fine for someone of my size. So, so far, my impressions are good for $299. Let I me mean, compare this to my, my eBay trash training wheel that I bought, which was like uh, over two hundred dollars, like two twenty-five, I think, was shipping. Uh, this is like it's like night and day. And it feels it feels like a quality product. So I'm gonna ride it a little bit more um, and look for a lot more content on the S1 in the uh, near future. But I'm actually heading out of town tomorrow, so I have other stuff to do tonight, and uh, unfortunately, not a lot of time to ride around electric unicycles. But I hope you found this interesting. If you uh, enjoyed the video, please take a second to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and uh, look for more EUC content to tell me. Until next time, stuff me out.